Every day, you are addicted to it. It's a sin. You need to repent. You need to put the cross and stop that sin. Okay? The other sin that happens a lot, lying to your parents, being not honest, gossiping, also relationships, especially in teen age. Relationship might start like an innocent thing, but it might end up with something that you don't want. If you go into a relationship that's not very good, you, it's not going to happen overnight. It's a gradual thing. So please, carry the cross and fight against sin. Um, for, do you remember the verse? Let's say it together. Do you, can, can anybody say it without seeing it? Huh. Who can remember the verse? Those who belong Let's say it together. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. All right? The other one is, I have been crucified with Jesus, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Now, I'm going to skip that part because uh, I don't want to. There is a story of Sam Moses the Black I, I liked in the paradise of the monks. So when he started his spiritual life with God, he had a lot of sins attacking him. And one night he was praying all night, like an hour, two, three hours, and the sins and the sins in his mind, he remember bad things, he thinks in sin, he cannot stop. So he went to his spiritual fa father, Ava Ithesaurus. He's like his mentor and his father of confession. He told him, I don't know what to do. I can't. I just can't. He told him, you know what? Go back and pray. Keep praying. Keep praying. So he went back. Kept praying. An hour later, he came back. I cannot go back and pray. He did that like three or four times, and around 5 a.m., he's like exhausted. He went back, listen, I'm not, I'm not a good person. I can't do that. I'm a big failure. So Sam Isisaurus told him, okay, let's go out. So they went out in the mountains, walking at 5 a.m., and there were, were two big mountains there. So he showed him one and told him, and he prayed to God and said, please, God, open his eyes. So God, he, he looked, this guy looked, and so, the mountain is full of devils in black. He's like, oh my God. He told them, you know, all these devils are attacking you. That's why you are, it's not easy. It's a war. All these devils against you. He said, oh my God, that's so bad. Then there is no hope. He told them, look to the other side. He looked at the mountain, the other side, and he found that it's full of angels. He told them, you know what? Those angels are fighting for you with you and they are more even more than the devils so he felt some peace and the the war went away at this point so it's not easy it's not easy it's a war okay um for for adults i'm just gonna mention an example of a sin because when we grow up a little bit more we get attacked by the sin of ego more bearing grudges that's, that happened mo, mo, mainly in older age. God, the, the, God's commandments say, love your enemy. It's a cross. You have to fight for it. It's not going to happen by just saying it. It's a real struggle. It needs a lot of fight. Uh, we all come on, on, on Good Friday or on the Holy Week in general crying for Jesus who died and like weeping and watching the Passion of the Christ. A lot of people watch that movie and we contemplate in how Jesus suffered. But let me tell you something. When Jesus was in his trip to the cross, there were women crying. What did Jesus say to them? Do you guys know? Anybody knows? He said, daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. We for yourselves and for your children. Hey, it's not going to make any difference with me when you guys keep crying. You have to look at yourself. 
It's not me. I'm, I'm God. I don't, I don't need people to cry on me. Cry on yourself. Carry your own cross and start thinking during that week, how should I be a better person? How should I, how I'm going to carry the cross with Jesus? How I'm going to crucify my psyche? Crucifying our thinking is a concept that we learn from the um, spiritual fathers. You have to crucify your thinking. Salb al fikr. Because we think a lot, of, a lot of times negatively. You want to avoid that. You can stop thinking negatively by praying and by humbling yourself. Uh, the other cross that we want to talk about, the second one other than sins, is the cross of building our spiritual life. By praying, you want to start praying more, carrying the cross of prayer. When you are tired coming from work, you still have to pray. We can't just pray when we feel like it. We can't just pray randomly. You have to carry the cross, pray regularly, in the morning and at night, every day. And during your day, when you go to work or in school, you need also to lift up your heart for a couple of minutes. Jesus' prayer is one of the most practical and effective ways to pray, and it's simple. Do you, do you guys know what's Jesus' prayer? Huh? Who knows? I know some people know, but the majority. Anybody knows? What's Jesus' prayer? Please, just raise your hand if you know. Huh? Jesus' prayer. Yes, Jesus' prayer is just saying, Jesus Christ, please forgive me. Jesus Christ, please be with me. Jesus Christ, give me grace. Jesus Christ, protect my senses, protect my thoughts. Mentioning the name of Jesus and just a quick request. Very, very quick. It's so powerful. The name of Jesus is so powerful. That's what the church teaches us. If you mention his name, the devils run away. But you have to say it repeatedly. Every few minutes, if you have every, every few hours, um, not every few minutes, just say it three or four times. You will see how much that makes a difference in your life. Uh, do you guys know the story of Justina and Cy Cyprian? No? Do you know it, Yanuba? I, I'm, I'm not, uh, I, I'll, I'll say it just so everybody can, can hear. Uh, Justina was a, a very young girl who is so pure and she's a saint and there was a, a governor that wanted to he wanted he liked her because she's very pretty so he went to a magician great magician in the in the city called Cy, cyprian so this magician had relations with devils he was like friend with devils all the time so he told him listen i'll pay a lot of money if you bring Justina to me, Put, make her love me. So he's like, okay, that's easy. I'll talk to my friends, the devils. They will take care of it. So he went to the devil and told him, listen, you have to bring Justina to me and I'll take her to the governor. So they went and came back and said, we can't. He's like, that's very surprising. That never happened before. If you didn't go back and bring her, I'm going to be Christian. He was very furious. So they went back and they couldn't. But at the same time, they don't want him to be Christian. So they decided, she was praying. Every time they go to her, she, they find her praying. They couldn't attack her because of the power of the prayer. She carried the cross of prayer. So they went back and they didn't know what to do. Oh, they decided to take the shape of Justina and like be a fake Justina and go to Cyprian the magician so when they did that and came to him he's like oh Justina you eventually came when they heard her name they were burnt and disappeared like evaporated because he did not tolerate to hear the name of that saint that her life was praying you see how the, the prayer, the praying person can scare the devils. So, um, the cross of prayer is very, very important in our life. 
The third cross is the cross of obedience to God's word, God's man, and the church. Because sometimes the, the God's word does not make a lot of sense. When I should love the one who insults me, that doesn't make sense. That's against my nature. Well, God will give you the power to carry that cross of obedience. And for servants, do you argue too much with your seniors or with the priest? Or do we obey the church leaders? Take the blessing of carrying that cross of obedience. Uh, I'm not going to, I just, I don't want to take too long because uh, you know that in the prayer of the sixth hour, when, what do we commemorate the prayer in, in the prayer of six hours? Anybody knows? What, what, what's, at the time of the sixth hour when we pray, what do we remember? What we do commemorate? The crucifixion of Jesus, exactly. You know what, what's the gospel of that hour? It's the gospel of huh? the Beatitudes, which we call the constitution of Christianity. Blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are the meek. As if God wants to tell us there is a relation between the cross and obeying the commandment of God. Because following the commandment of God is a cross. Okay? Um, the easiest way, I mean, if you cannot carry the cross of praying or fasting because it's hard, we should try, but it's hard. And if the cross of resisting sin is also hard, if the cross of obedience is hard, there is an easier way, which is the fourth cross. This is the easiest one, which is the cross of serving others. If you serve others and love others, you can steal heaven. I'm not saying not to do the other things, but this is the easier way. You still have to do the other things to be a good person. But if you start with serving others, loving others, it's going to be much easier. You don't have to be a servant in the church to serve people. Just look around. Find someone who needs help. A word of encouragement. A word of love. If you, uh, if you find someone who doesn't come to the church and go to him and say, Why don't you come? Please come. I, uh, if you call someone who doesn't come, please come to the church. I remember a story of a servant that was, I heard it before. She was a servant for a long time, and she had an old friend that doesn't come to the church. She never talked to her about the church. And one day she had a dream that her friend, who didn't see for years, died. And she went to hell, and she called her from hell and said, listen, I, you, did, you never talked to me about, about God. You see where I am now? So she woke up like very uh, yeah, and scared. She decided to call that friend. And she called her cell phone to find out that her friend died yesterday. Don't waste that chance to serve people. Carry that cross of serving others. I'm going to end up with, with a very quick story about loving and serving others. One of the spiritual monks, uh, fathers, asked his disciple to give a pearl of wisdom to the monks. And he's like, I don't know how to talk. I'm not a speaker. He told him, just give us two couple of words. So he told him, okay, I'll tell you something. I wanted one day to go to the king. And I don't have any relation or any connection. I'm a poor man. I'm a poor monk. I don't have any connection to the kingdom, to the king. So I didn't know what to do. I walked on my way. And I found three men. I asked them, do you guys know how I can go to the king in his palace and sit next to him? They told him, one, the first one said, I know how to take you half the way to the kingdom, to the king. The second told him, I will take you to the door of the king. The third one said, I can take you to sit with the king. So he asked the monks, do you guys know what are the name of these three guys? They said, no. He told them, the first one who takes you half the way, his name is Asceticism. Bil Arabi, 
اسمه النسك النسك athleticism means the spiritual um, rituals and praying and struggle the other one who takes you half the way his name is holiness after you do your spiritual struggle you can reach a level of holiness that takes you half the way to the king's room the third guy you know what's his name his name is love he will take you just next to the king that's the shortest way uh, please make sure to carry the cross and keep it in your heart and glory be to god forever amen